sweetians welcome back to sweetieville if you're new to my channel welcome to sweetieville i am sweetie pie and today we are back with a mod with me which i have seemed to be hearing through the community is really needed so i'm going to show you what i do to prepare my game after a new patch so you are seeing my actual computer screen right now and that's because i'm going to be throwing lots of different things up here the first thing i'm throwing up is discord let me get it down here for you a little bit so you can see it there we go and ignore all the stuff on my desktop back there but um if you are not part of dead or pool on discord i would strongly strongly urge you to be part of it one of the first things i do after i download a new update is i get on dead or pool because they will show me and everybody posts on there what is broken, what they are working on, you know, updates to it and everything, when it's done, it's all be up here for you. So you know after you download it, if you do play with mods, exactly what mods you can play with and what you can't. So you don't go into your game with lag and with it breaking and crashing and UI exceptions and all sorts of things now you can still get some of those of course but we're gonna go and i'm gonna show you i have not done anything to my game but update it right now without you and that's just because i didn't want you to sit through that long tedious update because i have all the packs i have everything and it does take it a minute to go through all the update and then the system has to shut down and um come back up if you're on a pc which is what I'm showing. So, you know, obviously I didn't want it to turn off on you and come back. So I'm going to show you everything I do to get my game ready from start to finish without any editing. And this is just the raw. This is it. I, I don't know any other way of explaining it. So the first thing I do, like I said, is I get on Deader Pool, in which they will show you the Sims 4 Studio has been updated. Um... Deaderpool has an update. I don't know if it's on this one or the other one because I was on two different um, rooms in the server. And you can change that over here. Right now I'm in the mods nudes and sometimes I'm in the announcements. So, um, yeah. Snow Escape Deaderpool released MC Command Center 7.5.0 public. Um, for everybody which is the new update so you need to download this if you got the legacy windows it'll show you all of that um, it literally goes through everybody pretty much posts on here and I'm just scrolling so you guys can see um, broken UI cheats extensions and more cast more columns and cast by we're we I can never say his name um, appears to be visual effects only at the moment so it'll tell you it's broken tool is broken right now um, I'm pointing out the ones that I use of course um, better exceptions by twisty maxi I don't use this one but I know a lot of people who does it is um, out now the version 2.0 if you want it you can go and get that. But um, little Miss Sam, I use a lot of her mods, so she got an update here, which I'll be throwing up here soon. Because, like I said, we're going to go through everything I have, and if you're following me, it should be, you know, close to everything you got. Um, if you're doing your folder exactly the way I'm doing mine. But I know I'm scrolling a little fast now, but... You can see everything is in here. Um, Scarlet mods, you know, there's her status is in here, which I use a lot of. There's, there's so much good stuff in here. I cannot say enough. If you're not on Deader Pools, um, on Discord, you need to get on it. It's not hard. Just apply. They put you in it, and as long as you don't do anything against the rules, you don't have to worry about it. Um, but it'll tell you, like, you know, this one is fixed. You know, it'll give you updates on that. Um, in the announcements section, it'll do the same thing. It'll go through everything for you. Uh, you can read it. You can catch up with it. 
see there's the debtor pool I knew I saw it somewhere that wasn't the original channel I was in it was that one you know Sims 4 Studios is open you know it, it does a really awesome job at going through everything and I'm sorry I have to take this here real quick just my husband but don't want him to think something's wrong and call so but yeah this is the first thing I go to in which I've already got some things up from it in which we'll go through so I'm gonna go ahead and send it down as you can see I still have to log in I have to do everything Okay, so my game, I could literally click on it and play right now, but I'm not going to because if I go into my files, which you hit your file folder, documents, electronics, arts, since 4, you'll see I have my mods folder in there. I did not take it out. I did not disassemble them or, or um, uninstall them or tell it game not to use them I just updated that's all I did and then I'll take my mods folder out open thank you and then I know the ones that are broken so twisted mexi um, tool is having issues right now the always testing is gonna have issues right now the UI cheats extension he's having issues let's see if um, he is got an update UI Right now, I'm just searching him, so I'll bring him over now so you can see. I have more than one screen. I can only show you one screen at a time. So, I'm going through him. His last update was yesterday, so he should be okay. So, we're going to try it out, and I do um, four columns. And he is in. Let's go back here. Woo. His UI cheats was yesterday too, so let's grab that. We'll see if it's running. And I didn't play yesterday. I was having a bad day. So I am just getting into this today. So I do apologize. But unfortunately, the last two days, I haven't been feeling well. As you guys know, I've been recovering from a stroke. So I have my good days and my bad days yet. So that is all that I get from him. So I'm going to get this out of here. Let's bring over Scarlet Mods because I use her. Let's see what she has to say here. Um, okay, if the mod is not listed, they are compatible. And let's see what I have of hers is SimCity Loans. And it's not on here, so we are good. And then let's bring little Miss Sam over. And 
Little Miss Sam social activity. All mods not listed should be compatible. If you find any errors, please test the mod that you think is a culprit and let me know via Discord. So, I do not see it on here. So, social activities are good. And what other one do I have from Little Miss Sam? Spend weekend with um, yeah, not listed, so we should be good. All right. Then the Sims Four Studio, and I just like literally took all those off so I can't list them down below for you. Okay, we'll take a minute to get all those back. Sims 4 Studio Wishes is updated. Download. Now, Wishes doesn't um, go in your game, make you run, but it does help you if you're, like, play with mods and you do different things. It can fix them. So, if the creator doesn't fix them, then you can fix them. So, I do keep this around. Now, let me just tab it down this time instead of doing what I did before, which... Now let me fix what I did before. Let's ignore the news because that's just like whatever. Scarlet Sims. Alright, there's that one. Little Miss. Sam, and you can look them up doing this way because they will flat out be on there and they will tell you and stuff. So, if you had the Sim, the dating app, it's on there. Um, I did have that one, so. All right. Next, MC Command Center. Do, do, do. And want that one. Want MC Woohoo. I use it all. All right. So I'll load that one for you down below. Okay. So I got everything that I think I'm going to need. So, let's go into, not that one, go into your downloads folder, and then we're going to put these in. So, let's install wishes. Run it anyways, it's just fine. Yes, you can make changes. I don't want a desktop shortcut. Install and finish. And it should pop it open for me. And that's what it looks like. And then you can go into um, when it's done updating here. It's still loading in everything and it takes a minute. Because, like I said, I have everything. So. It does take it a hot minute to catch up with me on certain things. 
but it's not too bad here as it's doing its first launch it's going quite fast I'm quite impressed and then it slows down Woo! I spoke too soon no oh, no okay are you done yet be done be done with yourself oh I'm sorry I touched you okay so you go under content manage backs fist batch fixes and then this is where I can go into cast I can disallow CC shoes while wearing a towel um, I can fix swimwear I can allow CC for mermaids I can disallow CC for mermaids you want to talk objects you can fix the um, tables and the chairs you can fix the beds monster compatibility um, update CC counters for toddlers update CC showers for discover university and now which is the new ones fix windows doors Star Wars patch and then under miscellaneous, I can delete CC thumbnails and I can update pose packages. Mainly you use it to update stuff in case the creators don't. But I do keep this updated because as you can see I play with some projects. I'm not good at it yet so you haven't seen anything from me but I am working on it. So that is done. Then I go into new folder. You guys know how I do this. I put this in. Open it up. Control C to copy, I mean rename, Control C, go back in here, click rename, Control V, then we go to the next one, rename, Control C, new folder, Control V, put it in there. Rename, Control C, New Folder, Control V. Alright, and then I can extract. So I right click on it, get my extractor, which I use Express Zip, and I extract here. Yes, it's free. I'm not going to use it for anything. Boom, there's everything. then do the same thing here boom boom okay extract here I told you to do it now do it there we go UI cheats do, 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 do. All right, they are all extracted. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay, well you can just go in the trash. I don't need you. And then, so you have your mods folder here. And I got this UI cheats. I'm just going to delete it. I don't need it no more. MC Command Center. Delete. I don't need you no more. More cast columns by Wavery. This one I just go in and I delete. Put in my more cast column. Put you in. I didn't want to open you. I wanted to group you and move you as a group. Did I get it? Ah. Uh, where did they go? See, this is why I don't like grouping sometimes. Now I gotta go find it.
MC Okay, that's where it went. These can't be in deep folders because they won't work. There we go. They got to be straight in and that's it. All right, so I have everything in new. So I can get rid of that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I delete my cache. So you go to Sims 4. You can see I have exceptions and I have a crash. So I'm going to grab all the crashes, the exceptions, and this local thumbnail file. going to highlight them and I'm just going to delete them. You are not going to hurt your game. Now, we're going to have to go to Origin. I'm going to have to sign out. And then, how to clear EA cache is a little harder. I do have something I'm following to the side, so if you see me looking over a lot, that is why. Um, but I don't have it up all the time. I don't use it all the time. So it's just a save file that I have in which I can link for you guys down below as well. So the first thing you're going to do. Do, 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 do. Let me get there. is hold down your Windows key on your computer and R. It'll bring up this box. You're going to write prescription <laughs> percent program data percent electronic arts forward slash EA desktop. And click OK. I didn't type something right. Okay, give me just a moment. I know I got Okay, guys. Found my note. So, you want to do program data percent in front of it and behind it forward slash origin and click okay. And it's going to bring this up. And then you want to delete everything in here except for this folder I'm highlighting right here. Local content. Do not delete the local content. Just do not delete this file. Delete everything else. Do not delete this file. So if you're playing with files, you have to be very careful. So I go above. I tell it to delete. I go below, I tell it to delete. If it won't delete something, I don't worry about it. It's okay, it'll still work. Then you're going to click Down here, your Windows button and R will pull this up again. And then you're going to put in app data percent. 
they are going to find origin. I'm in roaming. I need to go to local. Sorry. App data local. Find origin and delete it. And you can see it, it's doing everything, it's taking care of it. And it won't do it because this is open. So delete. So something is still up. So control alt delete will bring up your task manager and I have no origin up. So that's what I want. Tell it to delete. There it goes. I had something. So 6,000 things were deleted there. Then you're going to go to app data roaming find origin and delete it then you're going to go to where you have origin and give me just a moment to enter my stuff and I'll be right back okay I am back all I did was enter my password and stuff, and it's back. You, you did not hurt your game. Then I'm going to go to Origin here, and I'm going to click Play because I deleted the game cache as well. And it's going to take it a minute to come up because you've deleted everything. It's got to replace all those files. It's got to fix it. So even with all my mods in there, which I have a ton, it really wasn't that long before it came up. And that's with three shade in there, which slows it down. And as you can see, I've not done anything to hurt my game. It's just slow because it's reloading all of those files that I just went and deleted, all 6,000 plus some. So if you want to make your game as smooth as it was when it first started, this is how you're going to do it. And I do this after every single update, after I update everything. If I change something in my mods folder and update it, I delete my cache. Because you could cause problems in your cache to where things misread or do what it does. I don't know. I'm not very tech savvy. I just know it screws it up. So it has disassave, um, disabled, disassaved, <laughs> disabled all my mods. All right. So the first thing you gotta go is Go to your game options, other, enable your mods, apply your changes. Then you're going to exit. I know, never share. Then you're going to reload again. And remember, the only ones I took out was the tool in, from Twisted Mexi and um, his always testing on that I had from him. Just because it was still showing those two things were still broken that I used. So I know I can't use those right now. He's got to fix them. So I just have to wait. So those are the only two mods that I have taken out of my game as of right now.
other than that, all I did was update them and reinstall them in. So, now that I have all the mods in, you can tell it's taking it a bit longer. It's got to reread everything. And there goes my reshade, so that'll slow it down. Do, 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 do. And give it a minute to catch up with you because it will take a minute. It's your first time loading. It's replacing all those files. It's reading everything. There's a lot for it to do, especially if you have a mods folder as big as mine. As there's a lot of stuff in there. Is, I, I have this bad habit of downloading a bunch of mods and never getting rid of a bunch of mods. So I'm like, oh, this mod is so helpful for this. And then I use it like every so often. I don't even use it that often, but I gotta have it so when I do use it, that it's there. Because what is more annoying than wanting the mod and having to go out and reload to have it because you gotta put it back in? No. Just keep them all in there, I say. <laughs> but I do have a pretty powerful gaming PC that can handle a lot of them, so... If you can handle the mods, I say use the mods because they make the game so much funner. So, it is unresponsive right now due to its loading. I go through this every time I load. It's just reading. It is totally fine. If you get to the loading screen, your game's not going to crash and everything is good on your mods. Because... If there was a problem with it, it would spit you up an error code and tell you no. And then you would have to go through and find it all. So. Do, do, do. We just have to wait for the game to catch up with itself here. Which for me can take a while. This loading process is kind of... Um, long for me. I'm going to turn this music down in my head a little bit. There we go. It's quite loud for me and I'm probably shouting because of it. Um, but it does take my game a minute to load because I do have a ton of mods in it. So since I am showing you with all my mods and everything else, do not be alarmed that my game is stalled out here. It is just fine. This is normal for my game load. And if I would get rid of some mods, it wouldn't be normal and it would be a lot faster. But I wanted to literally show you guys everything I do from start to finish, which I can tell you it's going to load in here and I'll probably be done. And then I have fixed and prepared my game and I'm ready for play all in the amount of time it took me to do this video. So for those of you that are suffering and have lag and have this and have that, you know, um, see, there it goes. It's catching up. I have, you know, custom backgrounds and everything in, and I do play in window mode. So you're probably seeing my window now since I'm showing the whole screen and not just my gaming window like normal. So this is going to look a little different than when you see me play, but um, what was I saying? Oh my gosh, I just totally lost my train of thought. Ah there we go. Everything's in. Everything's good. I can load up all my games, in which I have a lot of saved games as well, which is another bad thing for your computer if you have a lot of saved games. And I'll load one in just to show you that everything is just fine in my game. And I won't have any lag. This is my building world where I just build for you guys in this save file here. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If I need to clarify anything in it, 
or if I went through something too fast, just leave me a message down below and I can redo this and I can make it um, better. Like I said, I didn't prepare for it. I didn't do nothing. I literally brought things up as I felt I needed it and I fixed my game so you could see it from start to finish of exactly how I do it. And I didn't do anything in advance besides the update because like I said, you seen how long it took me to load in. It would have been five times longer to see, for you guys to sit there and watch the game just update and that's just like horrible. <laughs> no one wants to watch that. But like, I like my custom stuff. It's so cute. And everything's in. And I can play. I can move. Everything's fine. There won't be any lag. Um, with deleting the cache, you may have lag within the first couple minutes. But if you just go in one of your save files and you just keep playing... After about a couple minutes, you'll notice everything will lag out, uh, not lag out, everything will smooth out, it'll be just fine, and you'll have a clean, beautiful running game, you won't have any glitches, everything will be just fine, like see now my camera moves way better, everything is just more simple, I just needed to give it that minute or two to finish loading, finish doing its thing in the background that it does, so that I can do what I do, which is play it. So if you have any questions, like I said, leave them down below in the comments. If I need to clarify anything or if you have any questions about anything, just let me know. I can make another video. I can go a little slower. I can do it all again because deleting your cache doesn't hurt your game at all. All it does is just make it like brand new. It just deletes all the old files out of it and starts you over and it doesn't hurt anything. You will have everything in your game that you had before. And you'll be able to play all your save files and everything just fine. It literally just deletes all of the programming and all of the things that it saves in the background. And if you're doing like um, a legacy challenge or something like that, you'll notice as you go farther in it that it'll get laggier and laggier because it's saving up all of that information and stuff. So... All you got to do is clean out that information and let it start like a new file and you won't have those problems. So like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them for me down below. But until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetie-licious day. Bye guys!